thing we have here is something I've, I've never even heard of before called oka. Oka, what is South oka? American vegetable, an Inca vegetable. Okay. Absolutely amazing, one of my favorites. They're actually related to the sorrel family. Right. Do you know the, the wood sorrel? It's a lovely uh, lemon-tinged mm -hmm. trifoliate leaf, like the clover a bit. They have the same leaf, so very beautiful looking plant. Grows only to, the, to that height, roughly. Okay. And it has beautiful yellow flowers later on in the summer. So you put them in and you cook them just like potatoes. They have a little of, bit of a lemony flavor to it. And spaced about? A foot apart, so a bit more, apart, yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. The beautiful thing with those are they're neutral crops, Michael. They're not related to any other vegetables. So you can throw them in anywhere. So you can throw them in. You know, when you talk about rotation, anywhere that suits. That's our, our oka or oka. Yeah. I didn't know what that was. Yeah, o oka, oxalis tuberosum, related to our native wood sorrel. Do you know that? The plant it you certainly tastes in? like sorrel. Did you taste the leaf mm, there? It has that nice sort of. Uh, How do you know lemony? it's not poisonous? You can eat the Just leaves. Saw you eating my ah. <laughs> <laughs> very refreshing and very good when you're thirsty. And do the tubers have that sort of lemony taste as well? They do have a hint of that, yeah. Okay, but wow. you, you boil them. Yeah. Shortly for 15 minutes, maybe just. Mm. So they're basically like a small potato, really. Yeah, that's very small size. potato. Um, okay, and do we have to do anything with them? No, but no. We can earth them up a little bit, yeah. dragging soil around there. Otherwise, you just leave them. Don't be tempted even to look at them okay. before the frost has knocked off the leaves. Oh, it's so the okay. first touch of frost. You know, you know when your garden was frosty, when the ochre leaves are dead, dead from one day to the other, they fall over, and only then. And they don't need any feeding or there's no, no, no real pests? No, definitely pest not. About. No pest at all. So if we only had ochre instead of potatoes, we had no worries in life. Yeah. Okay, Klaus, we're here taking up one of your, it's one of your pet crops really, Absolutely, the crops from the Incas, the, yeah. the ochre. So it's, it, I'm always looking forward to that. Okay. And, uh, I waited for you now to, to do it. I should have, could have done it earlier. The, the main growth is at the end of the year, so make sure that you wait for the first frost to knock down the leaves. Okay. Don't harvest them before. Well, we were lucky now this year that it wasn't too cold and too frosty. You're better off digging them out and, and okay. store them in sand. Yeah. So that, that's a red variety now of okay. ochre. There's different types. There's white ones, there's red ones, speckledy ones. They're all planted the same way. Now we, we pick out every one, even the small ones. Otherwise they might regrow here next year and I don't want them on that spot again. So for cooking them, you could roast them, you can make them into soup, yeah. or just eat them, boil them and eat them like that. Lovely, be looking forward to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm.